gotta go places and do things. Maybe you forget it. at Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. I've been out and about in the parks all day long and I wanted to end the night here because it's open till 10. So it makes sense. Epcot and a bunch of other parks closed at nine o'clock. So I skipped over Universal Studios. I only have an hour and a half here, but I'm sure I can get a lot accomplished. I do have Express Pass. So that gives me a plus. And uh, yeah, just wanna hang out. So let's go do this. The good old Premier Pass. Thank God for that. And the Express Pass. Really lets you let the adventure begin. Sometimes I find the cheesiest things I could put together just to do stuff like that. I like that guy. There are a couple of things I'm hoping to get accomplished tonight. One of them be ride Hagrid's motorbike at night because I've never done that. I've only done it during the day. Also, maybe ride Jurassic Park without getting wet. So those things, you know, may or may not happen. Probably not gonna happen, but we're gonna try. Hagrid's motorbike is posted at a 160 minute wait. So at least it's open and they're still letting people on. It looks like they finally took down the extended queue for Hagrid's here in Seuss Landing. Bunched them all up there. See it on that side too. Well, that's good, that's good. I feel like Halloween Horror Nights could do some really good things over here in Seuss Landing. I mean, if you're just walking around this pathway and then all of a sudden, pow, that can catch you off guard a little bit. That's a Jagoons. A Jagoons? Huh. I'd also like to add one more thing to the list if you guys would allow me. I would like to see the projection show on the Hogwarts Castle because it is different since the last time I really stopped and watched it. So. If that can be done, Hagrid's Jurassic Park, not get wet, and the projection show on the castle in an hour. I think I could do it. Walking through these archways always gives me the chills. And that music timed perfectly. First things first, jump right to Hagrid's because I feel like that needs to get accomplished first. But it's too light out, but hopefully by the time I get through the line, it's gonna be a little bit darker. Look at her go. And check out the tail lights and headlights, I love it! There's that dang group, really messing with my perception. Oh, look at this. We're loading up. I'm loading on up. A plus is we got front row. A downside is we're stuck. Wow. A million times better at night. That's amazing. Unicorn. So much better at night. I know I said that a couple times already, but you know, when you're coming off the ride, you're like in a hurry because like I'm pulling out my camera because I'm like, ah, I'm so excited because you can't film on the ride. But I'm telling you, I rode daytime, nighttime, nighttime, 100%. It was pretty awesome. So now we're gonna try to watch the projection show and then head to Jurassic Park. I got like 35 minutes left. I can do this. Oh, here she comes. There she goes. I don't know why I call it a she, but I just like it. So there it is.
Okay, so that was the same projection show that I've seen before. Um, I just didn't realize it. But now we're gonna head over to Jurassic Park and I'm gonna see about riding Jurassic Park without getting wet, if that's possible. And everybody keeps on talking about how long the wait time is for Hagrid's, but look at this. Current wait time for Raptor Encounter is uh, 12 hours. Begins at 10 a.m. That's insane. All right, river adventure, and the goal is not to get wet. No wet, please. Thank you, thank you. Which lane's the express lane? Oh, it's over there? Oh, you don't? Well, thank God. <laughs> I hear the back row is probably the least wettest. I hope that's right. I'm not gonna name my source, but it's a reliable one. Oh, doo -doo -doo. Didn't even get touched by water, except for by the drooling dinosaur that was actually in the J-Pack containment. That's the only one. That would be it. Perfect, not a drop on me. That's the way. Our picture was great, you couldn't even see anything. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> Universal at night is so awesome. There's hardly any waits. Like, literally, uh, Jurassic Park, I had an express, I walked through the standby, it was a five minute wait. Uh, I looked at Skull King, uh, Skull, Kong, Kong Skull Island, and it was literally maybe 10 minutes, I think it said. So there are plenty of awesome things to do, and no waits. Before I head out, I want to see about getting my uh, annual pass pen, and hopefully I think we're in the right spot. If not, we'll find out. But uh, yeah, that's a freebie, and uh, if it's free, it's for me. Here it is, bada bing. Oh, my finger's blocking the scanner. One penny. One more time. One penny, one more time. One pin, please. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Look at that, baby. Time. The ever-flowing river. I like free things, so I like this. Hold up. Wait a minute. No way. Do any of these say universal on them? What? No, but they are some nice hats. I like them a lot. All right, I'm gonna throw one more ride in there before we call it a night, because we have exactly five minutes. Look at that. We don't blow it when it comes to the news. That's disgusting. Will. Oh wow, it's disgusting that I'm touching it. Oh boy. I'm okay. There you go. Thank you. Well, not a bad way to end my night. One hour, rode Hagrid's Jurassic Park, watched the projection show, then rode Spider Man. Couldn't ask for anything better to go. So it's 10 o'clock now, the park's closing, but we still have time to walk around and walk out, which you can't even ride any rides. Look at all these cool Hagrid Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure stuff. A nice little hat, a nice little t-shirt, Fluffy, the unicorns, a tumbler. I like it. Oh wait, what's over here? Oh, look at that. That, I don't think has anything to do with the ride though. Maybe it does, I don't know. Oh, they got lots more. They even got socks, cell phone cases, pictures, and backpacks. Wow. Well, that really went together well. 
socks, cell phone cases, pictures, and backpacks. So that's gonna do it for me tonight. I am a hot mess and very hot, but it was fun and definitely a great way to end the night. So uh, I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>